They shall live here and speak on behalf of Africa. There is no way Yosef from Ethiopia would go back to Ethiopia and preach nothing less than one Africa. Why? Because he has dined, he has wined with all his siblings across Africa. This is a great honor for us. We, in no way do we take this as a small blessing. We have almost about 50 children here. We are still expecting Niger, South Africa, Cameroon. We're expecting a lot of countries to come here. And this place you sit in today might be smaller than a village. It might be smaller than a city. It might be smaller than a state, a province, or a country. But I'm, wel I'm happy to welcome you to Africa. Because as these flags are mounted, so shall you understand that every child seated here is representing Africa. So welcome to Africa. I should be able to say bonjour. I should be able to say aquaba. I should be able to say bon dies. I should be able to say lulaba because you are in Africa. Perhaps the next time you come here, maybe I should deliver my address in French, in Spanish, in Swahili, or in Creole, as Hawa and the sisters have taught me how to speak Creole from Liberia. So next time, I would be more than excited to let you know that this dream shall go beyond its years. One day we would sit down here and realize that we have started something great. We have started a movement that the world shall know Africa is truly alive. That 60% of 264 million shall change. This might seem like a small start, but every step counts and every child counts. We welcome you to join this foundation Become volunteers wherever you can reach. Find a child. If you cannot fund the education of one, you can refer them to someone for education. Together, we'll move Africa to the next level. And one day, we will stand in the West, proud to say we need no help. For the likes of this Roches Foundation College of Africa students will go around the world, reaching out and touching lives. We welcome you, Your Excellency. This day would forever be printed in our memories as the day that the president of Liberia saw us fit to host her. You will be the fourth state lead, state president coming to Rochester Foundation College of Africa. And more will still come, all to see these children, these children that were once on the streets, but now stand here as proud ambassadors. Please do not feel offended if they come to you and tell you they are not orphans. Do not feel offended if they come to you and demand or act with a sense of arrogance like their father is a governor of a state, for indeed, their father is a governor of a state. They have no mentality of poverty. They have no mentality. Zuleika said she would fight poverty when she leaves here. And I believe her because there's a sense of determination with which she said it. There's a, there's a sense of vision, and we're getting there. And I will remind you all of this day, 20 years from now, and when you see one of them running for office, please vote for them, because they are products of Rochester Foundation College of Africa. Your Excellency, one day, once again, you're welcome. In, at this point, I would like to crave your indulgence to please sign our book of registry so that we shall laminate it and keep it in the admin office so that any guest that comes, we would know that Liberia in its full force was here. Thank you once again, and God bless you. Long live Africa. That was the Director General of the Rochas Foundation College of Africa, Miss Uchechi Rochas. To run down the names of the five Liberian children that are students in the Foundation, um, Rochas Foundation College of Africa, first we have Ada Suhe. She lost her mom during childbirth. She has never seen her father since she was born, but believes she will, be, he will still be alive. She has been surviving in a local orphanage in Liberia until Rochester Foundation found her. Today, she's among those who have found hope, and by the reason of being given the opportunity of good education, she thinks Sky is her beginning. We also have the story of Awa Kasia. She's no less than a story 
of grass to grace. She lost her father in 2011 and her father and mother in 2012. She has been an orphan and things have been very difficult for her. She was in an orphanage boarding school, unsure of what the future holds for her until she found the Rochas Foundation College of Africa. Permit me at this point to invite and welcome the visionary of this great institution, a man who is so broken, sold out, to make sure that education is made available to the poorest of the poor. Join me to welcome our daddy, His Excellency, the governor of Imo State, and also the founder, Rochas Foundation College of Africa. Sir. At this time, we have the president of Rochas Foundation worldwide, governor of Imo State. Thank Rochas you. Maybe sit there, please. Thank you. Madam President, President of Republic of Liberia, Ellen Johnson Selef. Again, let me welcome you to Imo State and welcome you officially to Rochester Foundation College of Africa. It is the joy of an aging father to see a rising daughter. The director of Rochester Foundation College of Africa. As you rise, may I diminish. <laughs> the first lady of Imo State. The womb that gave birth to the director. Thank you. The, M the speaker, most of the House of Assembly, Secretary of Government, Chief of Staff, let me on your behalf and on behalf of these children welcome the entourage of Madam President, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Education, Minister of Gender, and my friend, my younger friend, Minister Otak Portfolio, but controls all portfolios. The Commissioner of Police and State Security Service and other commanders of paramilitary. Your Excellencies, my children, the future governors, future presidents, the future business tycoons, Commander-in-Chief of all businesses of the world. Uh, on your behalf, I speak. <laughs> when I started this foundation 20 years ago, it was like a miracle. This foundation started from Joss. at the mosque where myself and my family, this, when they were kids. And we we'll go to this mosque every Friday to help feed the indigent children, what you call the beggars. And as we keep going there, the population kept rising. And one day, my wife said to me, in the course of discussion after our morning prayers, for how long shall we keep this give, giving arms of charity to them, and the population kept increasing. We must do something to empower them themselves so that they no longer beg on the streets. That's the story of Rochester Foundation Colleges. And then we decided <laughs> that rather than giving just the food and support and cash, we could now build schools for them. 
And today we're proud to have 